Alright guys, how's it going? So there was a few unanswered questions regarding the mesh to volume video. Now rather than answering that in the comments, I thought I'll make another video and I'll just kind of explain some of the workflows. So what we'll actually do is we'll go from a mesh to a volume and then to a volume to a mesh. And this is why I'm calling the video Blender Inception. So in traditional fashion, we'll delete the default cube. I'll press Ctrl and A, and what I'll do here is I'll just add in a basic monkey, Suzanne. That should be perfectly fine. So in order to convert this to a volume, what we need to do here is we go to Add, Volume, and we'll add in an empty. I'll then come to the modifier settings, I'll add in the modifier, and I'll do a mesh to volume. And I'll use the dropper tool to select Suzanne, and you can see here it's added the volume in the background. Now I'm actually going to put the voxel count up, I'll make it something ridiculous like 250, probably a little bit overkill to be honest. I'll quickly hide the mesh here in the visibility and we have Suzanne. Now I'll put the density up just a little bit as well just so we can see it. And there we go, that's how you convert a mesh to a volume. Now one step we can actually do here is we can actually add in a volume displacement, we can assign a new material, let's use something like a procedural and let's just use something very simple and we'll use clouds, why not? And there we go, we have this Suzanne head that kinda looks like a cloud, not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and we could always tweak this. But what I would like to do is show you how to actually convert this back into a mesh. Now you're probably thinking, why would I need to do this? I mean, you've already converted from a mesh to a volume, it kinda seems a little bit backwards, and you're kinda right and wrong at the same time. One thing is, when you start to convert again, you start to get different variations, so just to show you, what I need to do here is, I'll just add in a basic object or a primitive, so we'll add in the default cube. Let's bring back the mesh, and obviously I need to hide the Suzanne head. Let's move the cube to the right hand side, and I'll come to the modifier of the cube, I'll add in a modifier, and I'll do a volume to mesh. We'll use the dropper tool to select the volume, and we get something like that. And that's one of the reasons why you would actually convert it, it just generates a whole different type of topology. But what if you kind of put this on its head and went back into a volume and kind of went into Inception. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply the modifier, I'll move it to the right hand side, and what I'll do again is I'll repeat the process, I'll go to Add, Volume, I'll add in an Empty, let's move this to the left hand side, let's add in a Mesh to Volume, and let's select the Mesh. Let's quickly hide the Mesh again. And you can see that there's actually a slight variation now. Now obviously it's because the voxel mounts down, so I'll put this back up to 250. Let's go to a density of 2 again, just so everything was the same. And you'll now notice that I have two different cloud types. Now of course, I can then add in another displace modifier if I really wanted. Why not, since we're here. Again, we'll repeat the exact same process. Let's add in a different one and let's add in something like a noise. Now that's cool. Now one thing you might notice when you go to render, is it can be a little bit jagged, you might get stepping. Now one thing you can actually do here is if you go to the render settings, come down to volumetrics, you can actually change the tile size to 2 pixels. And you can also put the samples up as well, but we'll leave this at default. Now one thing with lighting clouds is, you need to have a decent lighting setup, so I'm going to bring this light right down, right above. Let's quickly jump into render viewport to see what we're getting. Cool. Let's add a material to the volume, so I'll go to the material settings, I'll apply new, and I'll already understand that this is a volume, so if you go to the volume settings, you can see here, principal volume, you have your colour, so you can change this, density, things like this, and I'll repeat the process here, let's go to new, and let's set up our camera, let's press Control, Alt, and 0, that looks good enough, let's frame it slightly better, perfecto. Let's hit F12, and obviously it'll take a couple of seconds depending on how many samples and how many. Okay, okay, there's a big mistake. Remember to hide the mesh inside of the render viewport, so we'll quickly go back <laughs> to apologise. We'll enable the restriction toggles, and obviously we want to hide Suzanne in the render and the viewport, and then the last thing would, I suppose in theory, would be the cube. Let's try this again, F12. See, not everybody's perfect. And let's check out this render. And that's pretty much Blender Inception. This is how you can go from a mesh to a volume, and then from a volume to a mesh, and then you can go back the way. And it just creates this whole strange workflow, but it's pretty cool that you can now do this with modifiers. 
do me a favour guys, like the video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me to Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do, take care.